pleasure of now introducing Jess Shombri is a mama of nearly two. Any minute, I made a promise that it wasn't going to come down to the wire on Gay Plan Day. She, we've made it, hopefully. <laughs> um, soon after the birth of her first child in 2011, she started to follow a new career path and studied to become a personal trainer and a lifestyle coach. She has a huge passion for helping others in their health and happiness. After working in a gym environment for a short time, she realised she was missing out on a lot of time um, with her daughter. And she wanted to really help people um, and, and pursue online. She learned very quickly that that would allow her to work around her family. After just six months working with the Juice Plus company, Jess had already replaced her full-time income. And Jess is now an NMD 36 club. Okay, so three key takeaways today is going to be around knowing who you are, creating great content, and also having a long-term vision around what you're doing with social media. Okay. So first, how do you establish your message? We've heard this a lot over the course of today, and Juice Plus's message is definitely to inspire healthy living around the world, right? Um, but I encourage you to do a little bit of self-assessment. And you may not have time necessarily to do this today, but I think it's really important that when you go to events like this, you actually take the time to go home and do something rather than just go, this was great, and now I'm going to put that book away and I'm going to do nothing. So take time to self-assess what you're about. Um, so what does your page say about you? Are you a fitness model? Are you a mum? There's a lot of mums in this room, I know. Um, do you love to cook? Are you a gym junkie? Do you love fashion? Do you love buying nice things? Do you love travel? Um, you might be a blogger, so writing a lot of content might be something you love. Um, are you passionate about your kids' health? You could love contribution. That could be something that's really important to you. You could be a meal prepper. A lot of people love to learn how to meal prep. You could... I said love travel already, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> or you could be a work-from-home advocate, which, you know, we kind of... I'm sure you could all agree, we kind of all fall into most of these categories, being that we're in the Juice Plus business. We all sell fruit and veggies in a capsule. Um, we all have an opportunity that people can take up. And... Um, you know, I suppose that's where I'm trying to help you guys out, is finding that other unique thing that you do that maybe um, differentiates you from the person next to you or the person in your team that, you know, you're friends with, for example. You have to excuse me because I get really puffed being pregnant. <laughs> um, so please do me a favour and write down, whether it's now or later, what your message is. For me, my message is to inspire other women daily in terms of raising their standards in life. I show mamas that they can get their bodies back after babies, I teach people how to cook, and I'm passionate about helping other people live their lives in alignment with their values. Now, this is not something that I came up with overnight. This is definitely something that has evolved through my journey. So, at the beginning, when I had my page and I wasn't doing Juice Plus, it was just, you know, prove to the world that you can get your body back after having a baby. Um, teach people how to cook. But then came the business opportunity. So that's where I've added the part about being passionate about helping other people live their lives in alignment with their values. And that's just the way I put it. Um, the reason will come later on, but... <laughs> okay... So when you're thinking about your target market and what your message is, ask yourself these questions. What makes you unique? What does your newsfeed say about you? Like, really assess it. So when you're asking yourself that question, go back into your newsfeed and, and have a look and think, if I didn't know me, what does this actually say? If I'm a complete stranger, what does this actually say about me? Is that music? Oh. <laughs> uh, would you follow you? That's a big one. Would you follow you? Do you have a um, good looking content? And are you adding value? We've heard this a lot today. Um, second question to that would you follow you is 
if you would follow you, why would you follow you? I really think it's important to know that. And if you don't know it, I would encourage you to ask people that you know why they follow you. Um, some people might, like I know when I ask people that, they say, oh, you're just really inspiring, or you, you know, you've got a happy news feed, or whatever it may be. And that's great, but what we want to be able to do by going through these processes is measure, and that was something that Gordon spoke about um, yesterday. So defining value or adding value to people is giving them information, educating them, empowering them, not just being a noise creator. I loved that. Thanks, Gordon. <laughs> Okay, so my aim when I'm doing my social media is I want people to love following me, but what I want them to do is love telling other people to follow me. So if you don't ever have anyone else taking action on your behalf and saying, oh, that girl's really good, you should follow her, she adds lots of value, then your following will stay very stagnant. And I think that's what we, a lot of us, um, struggle with in this business, and I know especially in our team, you know, people say, well, I've done the warm market, what now? You know, like, uh, everyone who knows me knows what I do. So that's how we need to get raving fans, loving our social media. Okay, where am I up to? <laughs> okay, so with all of this being said, we need a plan of attack. And one of the common things I hear people say is that social media is hard um, or that they don't have time to create posts or they feel like a broken record. So my aim is to help you imagine if, so, if you could do social media right, that it would get easier over time. The number one thing that I believe you need to do if you want social media to work for you is have gratitude around it. So... Let's be real for a minute, because I'm sure a lot of you still go to work, right? Have a job? Yeah? Okay, maybe, maybe not, half the room, maybe. <laughs> um, I used to go to a job, and I used to have to drive for an hour and put on makeup and do all these things. Social media, we can do it in our bed. We can do it on the toilet, for God's sakes. Like, have some gratitude around the fact that this is so easy, if you have the right attitude around it. You don't have to answer to anyone else. You don't have to get on a train. Um, and I really do believe that like attracts like. So if, um, if you keep telling yourself that it's too hard and I'm not good enough and um, I don't have any good ideas and I can't create content, then that's what will show up for you. If you keep telling yourself that nobody likes my posts and I only get two people liking that and all those things, that's what will show up for you. I literally... Um, I mean, I, I just always go back to my past life as a PT and thinking about the fact that I would have to get out of bed and um, miss out on seeing my daughter wake up to go and train someone. And the grad it's very easy to be grateful for social media, trust me. Okay. <laughs> so that's the first tip. There are a few other tools that I want to teach you. So number two is just treating it like a job. This might sound really simple, but you do need to take things seriously. And um, I feel like I'm going to topple, up, topple over up here. <laughs> so um, that's why I'm not walking very much. <laughs> but as Christine said, you know, time management is so important. I really encourage you guys not to wing social media, not to leave it to chance. And I encourage you to make set times for posting. Um, set alarms if you need to, schedule ahead like Sam was talking about, don't leave things up to chance, don't leave things up to when you feel like it, because number one, we all know there's so many times in life where we don't feel like doing stuff, but we need to be consistent, our leaders tell us, post two to three times a day, don't, you know, don't miss days, so if you're having a terrible day, but you're trying to get a really great message across, Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm actually going to take it. <laughs> Thanks, Adam. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you're having a really terrible day and you go, all right, well, I'm just not going to post today, how does that play out long term if you have 100 terrible days in a year? Probably not very well for your business, right? So treat it like a job and it will probably end up paying you like one. 
have a structure and follow a grid. So I'm going to get to that in a minute in a little bit more detail. I can't see my timer now. I've got to wriggle back over. <laughs> OK, and be committed to the long term. So what I mean by that is, I suppose, just coming back to my own story, is that I built trust with a community for four years before I started Juice Plus. And I really believe that in a lot of ways, that's why my business was able to move forward quickly, because I had done a lot of work before I started trying to sell them something and tell them I had this great opportunity. So people, you know, kind of thought they already knew me and loved me. And, and so I feel like in some ways, that was one of my keys to success. So if you are in this business and you're brand new or relatively new, um, have the long-term vision and don't have disappointment around the fact that you're not getting results quickly. Really have faith in the fact that every single post you do is, is going to pay you in a couple of years. It really, really will. Okay, I'm going all right. <laughs> so, oh... I can't even read that because it's so small. But I, um, I want you guys to know, I think it's really important to be in the know around social media. I'm not an expert at all. I have no knowledge around, or I have a little bit, but I'm not a teacher on social media in terms of the back end. I think it's really important to know those skills, but don't get caught up in believing that that's the solution because without really good content, without being consistent, without having heart, adding value... None of that matters. OK, so what's the grid? This is um, a little bit of a system that I use, and I think I hope that you'll be able to go and um, use this really well in terms of planning your posts and moving forward. So it's something that um, helps me stay on track and be consistent, and it also gives me ideas on what I want to post. So when I talk about my grid, basically what I do is I have six to nine different ideas or themes that I post and on and I rotate regularly. It's really important in this business, and Sam actually just touched on it as well, the 80-20 rule, so not to um, spam people with our message. So that's why I find the grid is really, really important. Um, what it will also do is it will help give you structure and it will help you time manage better because you won't have to sit there in the middle of the day when you're trying to feed your kids lunch and go, oh my God, what am I going to post? I'm meant to do a post today and now I don't have an idea because if you follow structure and you have a grid, then you'll have an idea. So, um, the first, and you guys can create your own grid ideas, but the first one I do is family and friends. So every six to nine posts, there'll be either a picture of me with Scarlett or my hubby or what we're doing on the weekend or something that's personal and relatable. The second one will be an inspiration or a quote. So I've just based this off my Instagram feed. The main reason is because when people open Instagram, they actually see six to 12 of your posts when they look at your profile. So I find that by having that grid, it also tells people what, they're, what you're about. So if they're unsure if they want to follow you, they get a pretty good idea of what you're going to show them by looking at the top six to nine posts that you've done. So my um, inspirational quote, I just make them in Canva, and sometimes it's a quote, sometimes it's just letting them know what I'm going to talk about in the comment, but that's every sixth post. Can't read that. Recipe or food idea. Okay, so um, that's simple. It's just about living the mission. It's about showing people that you're healthy and you, pr you pre teach and teach what you preach. So I always try to do recipes of my own, or if you've got an amazing program that's linked into your business, then you can share those as well. Then I do something about the product or the program. So it doesn't always have to be, um, I've got Juice Plus, here's the magic beans, here's the 100 things they do for you. It can literally just be how you incorporate, you know, smoothies into your family and why you choose the protein you choose, whatever it may be. The next one is a business post. Clearly, in this screenshot, I need more of those. But um, something that talks about the lifestyle that you're able to lead now that you've been in the business for a while, what you're looking forward to, that you have an opportunity. But it's always really important when I do business posts is that I put a call to action along with it. Um, one thing that I know Shani mentioned was that 
someone didn't even realise she was doing the business and that's why they didn't join her. So don't be afraid of making sure people don't forget. Please contact me because I've forgotten that so many times and then I'm like, I'm not getting any team and I think, well, I'm not actually telling people I still want team. So maybe if I told them, they might actually contact me. I can't even read that. <laughs> reposting and sharing, yeah. So reposting and sharing um, is basically just helping support other businesses, other cafes, things like that. I find that when I do that and I tag other people, they're really appreciative and often they follow me back. And um, I could tell you a million stories, but it's helped me a lot in my business. So again, it's just about taking photos when you're out and about. So if you take away all the pictures, you can see there's a structure there and you can see that there's a grid. Now, to add to that, you can, you, know, you can make it 12 ideas, 6 ideas, 9 ideas, whatever you like. Um, a yes or no post is a great one, and that, by that, I know I've got time running out, but um, by that, what I mean is asking someone their opinion or um, asking for a recommendation. One thing I know is that people love to give their opinions, right? Um, so if you ask them, should I get this haircut, should I have, change my hair to brown, or which dress is better, or where should I go? I'm on the Gold Coast tonight. People will interact. Um, by getting more interaction on your page, the likelihood is, or I'm hoping, that they will then start to see more of my posts. And I do believe that's true. The other great thing about those is if you see someone comment that hasn't commented for a while, you can then send them a message and say, hey, I just saw you comment on my post. I haven't seen you in a while. And start conversations through that method. Something funny is always good. Um, and then something on lifestyle or fitness. So by lifestyle, I mean the fun lifestyle that you may be living. And for me, um, I used to do a lot of fitness before I was pregnant, but I'll get back to that soon. <laughs> so to wrap up, this basically, once you've seen the one before, you should be able to now have a look at a screenshot of some of my posts and be able to see what I'm about. So you can now that you've got the understanding for the grid, you can kind of see what's going on there. Um, when I look at it, and I just picked this randomly, but I can tell if I didn't know this person, and this is how I want you to self-assess. Well, she likes to cook, she's got a kid, she likes flowers, um, she goes to the gym, she's got some sort of program that she follows, she's nice because she keeps posting about other people's businesses, like the juice cleanse and the lunch boxes, and she's a bit inspiring because she puts up these quotes. So to me, I'm like, yeah, she's all right, I'll follow her. So that's what I want you guys to get to with your, um, you know, with your social media is, is that how people are going to look at you? And are they going to see value? And do they know who you are? Because if they don't, they won't follow you. If they don't know your face, if they can't literally, someone said, their sister saw me at a restaurant and freaked out, I'm like, holy moly, I can't go anywhere these days. But I'm not famous, but I want people to know who I am. Um... So, know who you are, that's the most important thing, and make sure other people know who you are as well. <laughs> create good content. Use the grid and it will help to guide you on how to create content. So, every single Sunday, I know that I need to take a few photos of smoothies, I need to do my groceries and set them up nicely, and because I'm living a mission and I'm trying to help influence other people to do the same. So, I'm not just pretending I'm healthy, I'm not just ranting on about stuff. I'm literally doing it every day um, and people hopefully want to, um, are inspired by me and want to live lives similar to me and that's why I believe I can attract lots of people. And then have a long-term vision, guys. Just really have faith in the process because you can't expect people to trust you overnight. You wouldn't do it, so why expect anybody else to? <laughs> Um, with that, thank you so much. I, um, I know that a lot of people might like some more notes and I do have, I could speak for an hour up here, um, and maybe a copy of the grid. So if you do want that, just go to the website, um, takebetterpics.com and just pop your email in and I will email everyone next week a copy of the grid. So people like to kind of have that up on their, you know, screenshot that and have it up so they can plan. Um, I really hope that's been of value and thank you guys so much. Yeah. <laughs>